hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video hope you guys are having an amazing day i know i am <clears throat> all right guys so this is uh, completely different than my usual videos you guys can tell i am making a how-to video so a lot of family members and friends have told me that i know a little bit about you know creative design and i disagree but then again i do love compliments <laughs> anyways so i'm going to show you guys quickly on how to make your own vision board and obviously i'm not sure if people do this thing anymore i'm just getting old but i want to make a vision board of what i want to do with my whole youtube career and my journey on making it there and i want to look at this every single day and i'm going to make that the new wallpaper for my laptop so the laptop and the wallpaper that this laptop wallpaper is just a place for I, this wasn't my wallpaper beforehand and i was just like i was like all right might as well have a little placeholder while i get ready to go so first things first you need two things to get start first of all you need to open your browser yes i do visit uh, f movies i use all of this stuff i don't know half of what i use for yeah i feel like anyway so f what you want to do is you want to go to your search bar right pinterest and go into your pinterest it? this is your pinterest and second thing you want to load up is canva so you've got your two things loaded right here and now all you have to do is search up whichever aesthetic you're looking for so for me i am actually looking for youtuber aesthetic as you guys can kind of guess and like as you see here so there's tons and i mean tons of stuff that people would like to you know have as motivation like i'd like to have this the what's it called the play button uh, the gold play button or um uh, this dream as like gaming room or just like basically aesthetic stuff that i find are pleasing to me as, as a person yeah so what you want to do is you get your picture you press the double tap basically right click for, uh, for windows and you save image to downloads right most people would say take a screenshot but i find this way you do retain a lot more quality in the uh, picture and uh, then having it being a little bit less like resolution but yeah so i'm gonna you know, quickly select a few of these and I'll uh, show you guys once I'm done and you guys let me know what you guys think about that, okay? Okay guys, so I just finished up, got all the, uh, and the pictures downloaded, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to open Canva and I'm going to quickly make the artwork. So obviously I made this video already but the video got corrupt so I'm going to redo it. As you can see right down there I made it but it's okay. So before you do that, what you want to do is you want to find out the resolution of your computer. So I've got a MacBook Pro so I'm just going to go here and just write macbook pro and then the inch aspect ratio ratio and that's it oh, that really doesn't matter to me. so width is 2880 my pixels um, by 1800 right so you go here you press create a design press custom size and then you put in your desired size which is 2280 2880 sorry by 1800 and the reason why you guys want to do this is because obviously if you uh, use the default ones it would make the pics uh, like the pixel pixels would be too stretched out and like uh, like they wouldn't look as good so once you've got that you can change the background if you want but um wait what what's the thing five seconds i oh, know anyways um so i'm got nothing planned so i'm just gonna do that and then I've got all the pictures I want to add here for my whole vision board. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna just show you guys how to do it. So let's say I want this picture and I want it right here, then I can just like resize it. And then I want this guy and I want it to be like right here. And you uh, you guys basically get the idea of it now, right? So basically you just keep adding and dropping until you find the design you want like this and obviously the best thing about it is that you're able to change the position so you can press here or to the back or forward like that so i want that one to be at the back or if i want uh, it to be forward or i want this to be at the back i can change it all around so what i'm going to do because obviously i've already made mine i'm going to quickly open that one which is right here and here is the wallpaper that i've made and once you've done all of this process right so you can see that it's all eight i'm all able to select all of it and what you want to do from here is you go to your share go to downloads and just press download right and i'm going to just do that for you guys real quick hold on so it's not this is isn't that hard to do and i'm pretty sure anybody can uh, figure it out within like the first 10 minutes of doing it once you're here, press wherever you want to save it. I'm just going to do it on the desktop for now. Press save. Go back to the home screen. I should have this tab earlier. There's your thingy. Now, on a MacBook, you can do it like this. Or do the app. I'm going to do it like this. And voila! You've got your vision board. And it says, I added that because I know I like having my name in the middle. And then 2024. Obviously, this isn't 100% perfect you had to do some edits because when i first uh, had finished off the text was a bit too this way and then uh, i had to re-edit re it again and again until i found the perfect one but once you get the hang of it you guys can make a lot of your own artwork which is what i did for my phone as well let me quickly show you as you guys can tell but yeah hopefully you guys find this video entertaining if you did make sure to hit that like button subscribe if you are new and yeah um i'll see you guys in the next video Bye guys!